what's going on everyone on youtube and tiktok or whatever platform you're watching from so uh i wanted to jump on here and uh do this quick little video um apologize for looking so rough haven't combed my hair or shaved or anything and um uh i gotta run to town to take care of a couple things and um yeah, I don't have anybody to impress, so I could care less about my looks. But I wanted to talk about something real quick. The Delphi case, right? So I've been uh, watching videos and uh, I've been listening to, like, you know, Richard Allen lovers and supporters and the people who think Richard Allen's guilty argue back and forth lately, right? And you got the, uh, the, Rich and, uh, the Richard Allen supporters arguing the fact that uh there's no evidence against them even though we all know that there is but they claim there's no evidence against them and oh he was coerced he was coerced when when, when whenever we bring up the fact that you know he he admitted to committing the murders he's already admitted several times to his mother and his wife that he is responsible for Abby and Libby's deaths. They always say, the people that support him, that say, that claim he's innocent, they say, well, he was coerced. He was coerced. The police, this is what they say. The police, this is what I'm hearing in the videos I watch. They say, that in the police interrogation, when they were talking to him and questioning him, when he spoke to the police, he just, you know, eventually he broke down and he admitted he just said whatever because he's in horrible conditions and you know he spoke to police and he just you know under uh, false pretenses he he just admitted to whatever right that's what they claim false confession right well this is my outlook on it and this is my take on the whole situation okay and you know the the people who support him are like you know it was coerced it was fake you know, he's innocent. He shouldn't be sitting in jail and this and that or prison or wherever the hell he's at, right? He shouldn't be in there. He was coerced and the whole thing was fake and he just said whatever. Okay, so here's my outtake. Y'all ready? This is how I feel about the situation. Number one, if you are dumb enough, if you are not only dumb enough, right, to talk to the police or detectives or whatever, Number two, if you're also dumb enough to admit to a crime that you know you did not commit, you deserve to sit in jail, okay? And while you're in there, you also deserve to have a special little certificate plaque that you can hang on your jail cell wall, right? Nice little certificate plaque to hang on your wall, right? You deserve to have one of those. A certificate plaque to hang on your wall for being your jail cell wall for being the world's biggest dumbass <laughs> that's all i gotta say about that 